Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with a Buy the Whole Box and this is a series I'm going to have explaining to you cigars I purchased myself by the whole box. These are cigars that are worth taking that jump, taking that leap and investment in buying the whole box. Most of these cigars are, are cigars that are economical, it's a smart smart move or it's a cigar that uh, you just you just can't live without and today we have the CAO Fuma Encorda. CAO Fuma Encorda uh, this was a cigar I did not too long ago for a cigar pairing and this is a cigar that I highly highly recommend so let me go into telling you what I have here and a little explanation of what this cigar is. So the, the size is a Toro. This is the Toro size. That's what I have. It's a pretty large box. It's six by 56. The wrapper is a Honduran Oscuro. The binder is a Cameroon. And the filler is a Brazilian Barganza. That's Barganza, I believe, if I'm saying that correctly. The strength is a medium full. I get so it's is not for the rookie, but it makes fruit. for a Good. Overripe fruit, meaning like dry good. fruit. Not just or, because of the or fullness, an example cigar. I like pairing, deep, rich, earthy, right I up my alley. Pair, and this makes for a good bourbon cigar, much like the CAO Brasilia. And I'll talk about that a little bit uh, later. The cost. Um, this will cost you around $189. This is far more than I would spend on a, uh, on a box at a time, as far as I can afford. Uh, but I didn't spend 189. I went waited till this went on sale. I like to keep things in my queue, go on Cigar International, keep things in the queue. And if it goes on sale, bam, got it. Yes, got this on sale. I believe I got this for around 150, not 180. And if you have some kind of uh, discount or or coupon code, this would be a good one to go with. I again highly recommend it, and I'm going to say that over and over again. Now, if you do decide to buy it full price, you're still getting at getting it at a reasonable price, a smart price, and most of the time, again, purchasing something by the by bulk usually saves you money, and you'll save money. Most B and M's, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, B and M brick and mortar, your 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 uh, neighborhood cigar lounge, they will give you a discount a lot of times if you buy a whole box. Uh, this is a medium full cigar. Uh, it, it, you can describe it. Or this has a nice oily wrapper. It, it, the, the twisted cord right there. Um, I like that. It's nice and original. It. it, it uh, I'm sorry. I'm being overwhelmed right 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 now with the scent. This smells so good. I wasn't going to talk about this, but I have to talk about it now because it's hitting me so hard. A lot of times people get real flowery with their explanation of the flavors they have and the scent and everything else. No, make no bones about it. I am not exaggerating. I'm, I'm telling you, this smells like chocolate. The, this box is, I might have to probably close this up because it's, it's smelling so good, so good right now. The flavors, the flavors you're gonna have uh, it's very difficult to explain because it's another thing about this cigar is the originality of the flavor uh, profile tastes like no nothing else and that's great the CAO Brasilia like I said before is another good bourbon cigar but this doesn't taste anything like the CAO Brasilia and that's great and I know I talked about the CAO Brasilia in the last video and I'm not gonna have uh, CAO over and over again this would probably be the only one I do for quite a while um, but it tastes completely different and that's awesome absolutely awesome it tastes different um, ripe fruit that's what I can tell you uh, a fig or or um, date type note coming from this cigar and a little bit of chocolate which I love when a, when a cigar has a little bit of chocolate. Now, for the rating, this cigar only, I found it rated at 89. 
I would like to give that a much higher rating. I think this cigar is at least a 91. I know I am nobody special rating cigars, but 89, I don't, I don't think they're being too harsh. Let's talk about the box. When you buy in a whole, a whole box, it's also about the, it's all about what it looks like. It's about the, the experience of opening that box. Like I said, the, the smell of uh, chocolate coming through uh, when you open it up, that's part of it. And this gives a, a rustic box. This is a nice box, again, with the CAO, CAO Brasilia. It seemed like a cheap box. This isn't cheap, even though it's rustic and looks like a, a old ammo crate that you might find rifles in, if it was larger, of course. Uh, it, it sets the tone. It sets the tone, especially with that, that cord rather than the uh, label on there. I like how, it do, how they did that with this cigar and, of course, with the other Amazon bases. Um, I've also been told that this Amazon Basin based cigar, because you have the Amazon bases, you have the Anaconda, and you have Infuma de Corda, isn't as good as the others. I haven't had the others yet, but trust me, worth your money. Absolute worth your money. Last thing, what is the con of this? The con is the ability to get different sizes. If you if you a lot of times you try to save money, you, you purchase online, you, you do, you absolutely save money when you purchase online, but sometimes the the companies, which is a good thing, it keep it keeps it helps the industry where this particular cigar, if you want the Robusto, is not available online. It's only available in the BM. And like I said before, a lot of BMs will give a good discount if you decide to buy a whole box. And I will tell you. If you're going to buy it online, worth buying a whole box, buying it in a B&M, buy the whole box. I, I definitely stand behind that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Charles Wallingford. This is Buy the Whole Box, and this is how I spent my money. <laughs>